chicka chicka what's up guys all right so i wanted to make this video for quite a while now and finally i've gotten the time to put the video together this video is going to show you all of the important ish mac tricks that you need to know in order to to be a good mac user in order to be a good efficient mac user so i've put together a small list of these uh tricks and tips on uh, the Mac OS X Leopard 10.5.6 and I'm going to share this with you. Now the following you might know and you might not know and I can guarantee you there will be a couple or a few that you will not know so this video is going to show you a lot of tricks that you can do on Mac OS X. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get started. The very first trick that I'm going to show you, or tip, is something that I think that every, every single Mac user should know how to do. It's with the volume up and down feedback thing. You know how you turn your volume up and down and you get that bleep sound? Something like this. Okay, that just gets on my nerves all the time and I hate it. So I figured out a way that you can get rid of it and it's nothing too hard. It's actually built in your system preferences. If you go to your system preferences and open up your sound preference pane, in the sound effects tab, you can go down here and uncheck the play feedback when volume is changed. Uncheck that, close out of system preferences Try turning your volume up and down, and no feedback. That's a really handy tool for you guys. Hope that helped for many of you out there who didn't know about that. Next trick I'm gonna show you has to do with turning up and down your volume on your Mac. Now, I think 99% of the world turns their volume on their Mac up and down by using the two keys on the keyboard, the volume up, F11 and F12, just simply by that. Now, if you want to turn it up or turn it down more effectively or more specifically or at a larger scale, you can hold these two keys. Hold down Option and Shift and turn up and turn down your volume. Well, as you can see, the volume is turned down in a larger way. That's pretty useful when you have songs on iTunes that have their volume set to a very high limit. Now, most likely, every single Mac user knows how to zoom in on their Mac. It can be easily done by holding control on your keyboard and scrolling up on your mouse. That's how you zoom in. Now, there's one other way that Apple has put on your Mac that you can zoom in. Hit Option Command 8 on your keyboard, just like this. This will turn on your zoom effect. Now you can hit option command plus or minus this will zoom in to your mouse and zoom back out to your mouse instead of using the actual scroll wheel on your mouse now this trick I'm sure everyone has heard of and it's pretty neat but I'm just gonna put it out there for those of you who haven't on your keyboard go ahead and hit command option control 8 now you won't see this on my screen right now, but actually if you're doing this, all of your colors on your screen are inverted. This, what this does is basically switches the colors to the opposite. So if it's black, it's going to turn white, and if it's white, it's going to turn black. And it looks pretty cool. It's for people with uh, eye disabilities. I don't know how Mac decided that this is going to help them, but this is what it is. It's a pretty cool trick, it looks pretty neat. Everything is inverted, guys. And um, to switch back, again, just hit Command Option, Control 8. Sometimes when you're multitasking a lot and you have a lot of windows open, you just don't want that stupid dock at the bottom to be there. And you can make it disappear simply by hitting... Have you guys ever seen a hot dog that was this big? Fuck. 
Command Option D and it disappears. It just goes back down on your Mac. To bring it back up, you can again hit Command Option D or you can hover your mouse at the bottom of the dock and it'll come up for you. You can open up whatever you want, take the mouse out and it goes back down. Another neat trick when you're multitasking a lot is when you have various and numerous applications open at once and you hate going back to your dock and switching like that, like if you want to go into Safari but then you want to go back to iTunes, you have to click every time. That gets a bit annoying. So I've opened up Word, Text Edit, uh, let's see, Stickies, and Calculator here. So now, if I if I wanted to go to, if I'm a calculator right now, and I want to go to Word, I can simply click in this window. But if I want to go to Text Edit, the Text Edit window does not show up like this. What you can do is hit Command Tab, and all of your applications that are are open will show up. And you can hit keep hitting Command Tab over and over again to switch through the applications that you want to go to. So let's see, you want to go to Text Edit. Let go of command and text edit window will come up. The next trick has to do with Safari. In any ordinary window in Safari, if you want to open up a link, but you want to open it up in a different tab, you would have to ordinarily right click and click open link in a new tab. An easier way to do this is by easily just hitting command and clicking. And this would open up, in this case, my channel in a different tab. Now back to the finder, if you want to see that dialog box uh, where, which gives you the options to shut down or restart or put your computer to sleep, instead of going to the Apple, then choosing what you want to do, you can easily just hit control eject and this dialog box will come up giving the options to restart, sleep or shut down. And now back to multitasking, if you have a lot of finder windows open, for example like this and you hate getting around through expose and choosing which one you want there's a keyboard shortcut which you can use to switch through only finder windows and you can do this by hitting command and the key below escape I have no idea what that called but the key below escape and to the left of the key 1 so yeah Hit that and you can switch through only finder windows. This next trick is very popular. Everyone knows this and again I just thought I'd show it to you. This is how to take a screenshot of your screen on your computer. All you have to do is hit command shift 3 and an image will be taking, taken of your computer screen and a picture will be placed on your desktop. And here we go, this is the picture that we just took. Another thing you can do with screenshot taking, you can take a screenshot of a selected area. So for example, you only want this dock at the bottom to create an image of. All you have to do is hit Command Shift 4 and a crosshair will come up on your mouse. Bring that crosshair wherever you want it to be and select the area you want to take a picture of. Let go of the mouse and the picture will come up on your desktop and it looks something like that. Alright so enough said that was just part one of my Mac OS X 5.6 tips and tricks. Part two will be uploading very soon so be looking forward to that and uh, don't forget guys to rate, comment and subscribe for this video and channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.